Bell. My name is Kevin. I live in a small house with my father. Since I was little, my father has been working hard all day long. He would connect recycled materials from door to door, door to door, and sell them for just a few dollars. But no matter how hard he worked, he is still poor and unsuccessful. These are the things that come into my mind when I see my father doing these jobs. I never see my father as inspiration. One day, Kevin's father counted money he made on the table. Kevin, here is your pocket money. When Kevin saw the money, he was very happy. Very happy. Meanwhile, his father took out a bottle. It's time to pay your taxes. Kevin looked at the bottle thoughtfully and didn't want to put his money into the bottle. However, his father took money from Kevin's hand and put it in. This is from you, and this is from me. His father also put his money into the bottle. Father, well, we now rich. Listen, Kevin, being rich is not about how much you have, but how much you give. Somehow, when you give, you will be happier. Kevin didn't understand what it meant. He always said to himself, "I'm not happy. I don't want to be poor like my father when I grew up. Therefore, I have to study harder in my high school days." A few years later, because of Kevin's hard working, he got a scholarship notification letter, which meant he got a chance to study abroad. Study abroad. Kevin was very excited and felt that was the only chance for him to improve his life. On the day Kevin prepared to leave for America to study, his father gave him an envelope with money in it. My son, I'm so proud of you. Just give me a call when you need more money. To his father's surprise, Kevin turned down the offer, which made the father feel shocked and sad. Kevin turned around and left without saying anything. Years later, Kevin finished studies and got a job in a big company. He worked very hard, and now is a successful businessman. One day, Kevin got a phone call in the office. Hello, oh, Dad. Kevin, are you coming before reunion dinner this year? Hmm, no, I'm not coming home this year. You know, I've got a new job here. I'm really busy now. Maybe after the new year, we will see. All right? Okay, bye. As soon as the father heard this, tears fell down from his face. He hasn't seen his son for years. He missed Kevin very much and wanted to see him again. But now all his feel was frustration and disappointment. A few days later, Kevin received a phone call, and that was a bad news. His father had passed away. Kevin went back home to arrange his father's funeral. When all the affair was completed, he sat down on his father's bed, looking around the house. There were many photos his father took for him when he was a child. It seemed so different and so familiar to him. He found a suitcase under the bed and opened it. Inside the suitcase were many letters from a charity. Which were all sent to Kevin for his donations. Donations. Feelings changed. He made a phone call to the charity to figure out what this was all about. Later, he went to the charity and met the manager. Thanks for coming, Mr. Ling. I found this letter saying that being donated money to a charity, there must be a mistake. I will explain later, Mr. Ling. There's someone who'd like to meet you. Come with me. The manager took him to an office to see a man who sat on a wheelchair. Thanks for coming, Mr. Ling. I'm the director of the charity. Your father had told us a lot about you. He always made us forget about our problems and reminded us about our dreams and hopes. Dreams and hopes. Besides, the kids here. 
They all means to him. He's the only one who could bring a smile to their faces. I remember there was a boy sitting on the wheelchair. He was really depressed and didn't go to school. Basically, he gave up on his life. But to your father, he read to this boy regularly. This boy has grown up to be a really useful person. Really useful person. Actually, your father could have retired comfortably, but he chose to continue working, so he could help even more people. He was a selfless man. It just that he didn't tell anyone about his sickness. Oh my goodness! Thanks for telling me all this. But I didn't donate anything. It's your dad. He didn't want you to know that. A lot of memories arose in Kevin's mind. The money, the bottle, the words that his father said to him. Kevin was too shocked to say a word, and his eyes was filled with tears and regrets. He finally realized how great his father was. With the letters in his hand, Kevin went back home. He thought of the time he spent with his father when he was a child. He was not happy at the time, but now it's the happiest moment that he had ever had. At the same time, he made up his mind. He opened an old suitcase and took out the crown costume. On my father's birthday, I will celebrate his life as he would have wanted. Kevin dressed himself as a crown to bring laughter to the children in the charity, just as his father had done before. Kevin could almost hear his father said, "Being rich is not about how much you have, but how much you give. Somehow, when you give, you'll be happier." As my father say, sometimes when we help and support others, we can bring them a different world, even just with a word or a sincere heart. That is the legacy my father left behind for me, and that is what altruism means.